welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. This is in the game reviews, and uh, today we're going to be working on uh, this uh, green car, a uh, Selim Flamo. And we just uh, received it from the customer, and uh, the customer is complaining about the car not being able to start anymore. And then it made strange noises when he actually did run and apparently it's really loud so there's a whole bunch of problems with this car can't start makes strange noises and then it's uh it's uh making loud noises as well also the customer is asking for a complete oil change all right now the issue with this car is that we do not know what is actually wrong with with, with it so the parts are not discovered as you can see here and we're gonna have to figure out by using our tools skills and uh, intuition to figure out to what actually needs to be replaced and fixed in this car so we just received it so of course we're going to uh, do a quick visual scan see if we can find anything wrong initially and we can only see a couple parts that are marginal still workable the yellow so those are not the parts we are concerned with Everything else is grayed out because uh, it has not been, ex been examined yet. So we're going to move it to our lift as step number one. Actually, what we're going to do is take it to the test path. Uh, never mind. We can't start the engine. I guess that's the main problem. All right. Well, I guess our problem here is uh, in the engine bay and... I suspect that the starter might be wrong, uh, might be malfunctioning. So, all right, there's the starter. Looks okay, but we're going to disassemble it and uh, see if there's something wrong with it. Nope, that was not the part. That was not what was wrong with it. Okay. Visually, it doesn't look too bad. It is still somewhat shiny. has some rust spots on it. Okay, the fuel filter looks pretty bad, though. Part unmount. So we're going to take uh, that apart. That might be an issue. That might be an issue. Oh, and of course, we can already see that the exhaust is completely rusted out. Alright, so that's definitely something we're going to work on. What else is bad here in this vehicle? At least ex in the ex exterior. I'm gonna zoom out a bit. Nope. Alright, so let's check out the fuel filter. Maybe that's one of the problems. Yep, the fuel filter was one of the issues, so we're going to replace that right away. See if we can actually uh, get it to start from that. And get it to the test bay. Okay, click on the engine again. And uh, move around this way. Go into part mount mode. It's going to show us where we need to install it. All right, can we start the engine now? Can start the engine still? All right. All right, we're going to have to take this car apart a little bit more. Can't do it the mechanical way, we have to do it the manual way. Air filter looks it's decent enough. That's good enough. Okay, let's put the clips back on. So, perhaps if we change the oil, 
we might get this card to start. So we're going to raise it up and show how to use the oil changing mechanic of this game. All right, so once the car is all the way up to the top, the key is to, of course, use the oil drain. Click it once, click a move equipment, move it to the car lift A, and then simply click on use equipment. What I try to do is try to find the oil drain plug. You can't touch that, it doesn't do anything until I figure out that all you have to do is click on the actual equipment, use it, and you can see the oil draining, and there wasn't any pretty much any oil in there, just a little splurt. Okay, we can now put the uh, oil drain back. Let's see if... We need to change the oil filter. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, oil filter is still okay. So let's put it back. Okay, so that's good. Now, we have to get the car back down. And now we're going to look at the oil change or oil refill mechanic. So click on the engine once find the oil fill plug, click and hold, and it'll switch to this view where you get to uh, put the left mouse, pour in the oil. I still haven't figured out how to visually get an idea of getting close to being full. I just wait till it pours out a little bit like that, and that's pretty much it. You, can't get pe you don't get penalized for that, so that's fine. All right, now. Let's lower, oh, wrong button. Let's lower it all the way to the ground so you can start the car. Click and hold. Can we move it now? Still can't start the engine. Okay, so oil is good, starter is good. The, uh, Oil, sorry, fuel filter is good. What is keeping this car from starting? Interesting. Now, this could be the problem. This could be. Not sure what to change here. We may have to take the engine apart a little bit to see what's going on there. No. Okay. Okay, so let's remove the uh, engine head cover. Let's take a quick peek inside. Uh, the other part we may have to take apart is the, uh, the timing cover and check out the those bits. Nope, everything looks fine here. It's not, not doesn't look terrible. I don't think that's it. All right. So yeah, this is the tedious part. I'm to screw these back in, but obviously a lot easier than doing this for real. I have to pick up specific tools to do it. Okay. So now we're gonna go into disassembly mo mode and see if we can do this. There's no fan there. Okay. You know what? I think it could be the battery. Batteries are needed to start the engine. Now that we have an idea of how we had the battery, let's take a look and see if that was it. Yep, the battery is one of the elements we need to change. All right, so let's uh, get a new battery. A little bit of a discount there, that's good. Maybe it will start with this. If 
brand new battery in there. Uh, okay, let's see if we can start this car. Can we move it? Still can't start the engine. Okay, so the battery is not the problem. There must be something else still. Now, do I have enough skill points? Nope. It would be use, good to have an ODB scanner. Maybe this car is too old for that, though. I'm well, not sure. Nothing we can work on there. Okay, let's do another visual scan here. What else could it be? What else could it be? Don't look too bad here. It's uh, not sure what it is. Okay, well, we're gonna have to do this. Let's take the. Um, I'll sure it looks good. No. I've seen worse. Water pump is okay. Crankshaft pulley and let's see, idle the roller. Timing cover. Okay, is there anything bad in here? Nope, everything looks fine. Belt tensioner is okay. The belt looks okay. And the power steering pump looks okay. So that wasn't it. up anything new here. Nope. Still undiscovered parts. Okay. Let's keep installing these parts. Or reinstalling them, I guess. And this is why labor cost fixing cars is, are, is so high. It takes sometimes forever to figure out what's wrong with the car, especially if you don't have the proper tools. Bunch of symptoms and a bunch of causes, I guess. Okay, so that wasn't it. All right, at least we can do something productive while we try to figure out, maybe it'll come to me, but we can uh, replace the uh, exhaust parts. They look obviously brutal. They are done. Rear muffler V8 OHV, okay. And the middle muffler has to go. Let's go to the computer. Exhaust. Okay, so we need a middle muffler. That's one, and rear muffler V8 OHV. Okay, good. Let's get those reinstalled. I do not think that this will uh, fix the problem though, but uh, the problem of starting the car, I mean. Well, it's looking good there. So now we'll not make any noise at least. Okay, all those parts that we picked up, they look decent. They're all yellow, that's good enough for me. Something strange is going on and I do not know what it is. Battery was obviously broken and we replaced it. Air filter is good. Yeah, this uh, this could take some time. Okay. Okay, figure out what uh, what's wrong with this car here. So 
it is the ignition coil. You can see here when we take it off, top left here, 5%. So the ignition coil was the part that's broken. We're going to uh, go to the computer, type in coil, ignition coil. I guess the inline 4 SOHC would work. It looks exactly the same. Let's just do a check uh, inventory here. Yep, that's uh, what we took off. It's 5%. And that is what's causing the car not to work or not to start. So, all right, that's the fun part. Yeah, is reverse. Reversing the process, installing uh, this part. Next, the wires. They're still 64%. They're still good. We can install the rest of the engine parts here. Sometimes it's the smallest part in the process of getting electricity or power or whatnot, fuel, whatever the case may be, to uh, to the main bits here, to the main to the actual engine. So just have to spin around and. Uh, Explore some of the smaller parts. That's another little hint. May not be anything the major. May not be the major parts, especially the ones where you can actually see the condition like this, where it's a little bit of rust. Whereas the ignition coil, they're dark, and they just have these dark splotches on them. And uh, I guess you're looking for the the dark gray to be even dark gray, almost black if you want to find out if it's uh, worn out or not. So that's for plastic pieces. The uh, level of, of uh, wear is uh, indicated by how black they get. Uh, in the case of metal bar parts, it's to how much rust there is, there is on them. Okay, I'm going to get the fuel rail back on. The throttle body. I think that's it. Get rid of the battery. Get rid of the exhaust parts. Okay. I think we're good. Now let's uh, lower the car. And get it to the uh, to test path. I think we can do it now. Still can't start the engine. Unbelievable. Okay. Interesting. So, middle muffler rear muffler that's for the sound so so it's uh, not too loud ignition coil that's one thing that could stop the car from starting so that was repaired fuel filter perhaps the battery for sure we got that replaced so there's something else that is preventing this car from starting okay well we're gonna figure that out so uh, there's uh, one more culprit that I think could be causing the car not to start. And if you look over here, I think that's the fuel pump. And it looks pretty rusty from here. So what we're going to have to do to get this car up on the blocks again. We'll lift it up all the way. And I think we can access, access the gas tank from back here. The fuel tank, I mean... Nope. All right, the fuel pump. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Nine percent. All right, good. So let's um, get a fuel pump. Get back underneath. Click on the suspension so we can get into a repair mode. Find the sweet spot here. Part mount. Get the good one in there. Maybe that's it. So let's uh, lower the car. We know for sure that it is one of the parts that uh, was broken or was undiscovered. So there we go. The fuel pump is there. Now the question is, will the car start? So let's uh, lower it all the way down. Close the hood. And let's see if we can move it. Still can't start the engine. 
All right, this is getting really annoying. At least we're doing it systematically, one thing at a time. And we're going to figure this out. There's no question about it. So at least we have new fuel pump, new muffler system, new battery, new fuel filter, coils. All right, we're going to come back and figure this out. All right, so I had to drain the oil from the uh, from the car again to get to the underneath underneath the engine block by taking out the oil pan. And it looks like we have some major problems here in the rod cap and uh, the crankshaft itself. And I think some of the pistons might be completely seized up. It looks pretty awful. So that might be the problem. It may have uh, just run out of oil and uh, and then seized right up. So this is this might be the the issue. So we're gonna have to uh, dismantle this engine pretty significantly. I think we have to even go to the point of of uh, removing the gearbox. Okay, so let's just do this. Shouldn't take too long. It is not the... Okay. It's not the most fun part of this, for sure. Okay, now what else do we have to remove here before we can get there? engine bay. What else can we take from underneath here? Okay, yeah, so we're gonna just uh, remove all the, the crank bearing caps and the whole nine yards. While we're down here, it might be that we have to remove We may not have to do this, but just in case, since I'm down here. It looks like the pistons are the problem. It looks pretty dark. Okay, I think we're good here. I'm gonna lower the car. Okay, so here we go again. To check the underneath uh, underneath the car before I put new oil in. That should be the last thing. So another hint, another tip. Only when you're fully done repairing the uh, the car and you know everything else is good, then change the oil. In this case, I had to change the oil and now and how to drain it. And here we are doing this for now. Anyways, I'm digging in further into this engine. We may have to take the timing cover off as well. A few other things as well here. To get to the pistons. Okay, so this is the this is the tedious part. Right here, a whole bunch of uh, screws and bolts have to come off. And that is a little bit annoying. Okay, we'll take the, the wire harness off as well. Okay, so quickly do this. Get down here. Get the belts off. Yep, that's not a problem. So we a couple of bolts to keep these down. That's not a problem. go. I think we can take this off. We don't have to worry about the pumps and the uh, alternator. Belt tensioner, yep. That's easy. The belt off. Cam gear. Alright. Camshaft can come up now. Alright. So what else is holding us down here? So take this off the fuel rail. Oh, nope. Not yet. 
throttle body has to come out first. Intake manifold. Uh, I think the issue is the pistons are seized up. I have to get new pistons, some piston rings. A brand new engine here, almost. And what else has to come off? If it's uh, if you see something red, that's typically what's holding things down. Um, okay, I guess we have to get the plugs out. So these are parts that are preventing anything else from coming up. Okay, now we can get the engine head off. Perfect. Okay, so there's six screws here. Get those off. Get those going. Okay, yeah, the engine block is looking absolutely awful. We may have to replace the whole engine block. Look at that. I think it's in, I don't know, 65%? Is that bad enough for this not to work? Okay, let's take a look at parts here. Ignition coil, spark plugs. Oh, spark plugs, okay. They were the ones. Ignition coil, we changed that already, it's just not installed. Okay. All right, so I guess we didn't have to go that far, it was just the spark plugs. Not plugs, plug gifts, it's plugs. All right. Do I spark then? All right, we're gonna need four of these. Now, just for the fun of it, let's see what. Um, let's see here, piston. Let's see how much they cost. Hmm, eighty dollars each. You know what? Let's let's just install four new ones there. Piston rings, yeah, we're gonna put brand new ones. Might as well. All right, I think we're good. We got a friendly gesture here, and uh, get this guy some new. Yeah, there we go. Okay, where's the sweet spot? Where is, there it is. Yep, let's just do that. Even though we didn't really have to. We'll see what happens. Maybe we lose some profit, maybe? Maybe we're just doing this out of our own pocket. We shall see. Just curious. Okay, so now engine head back on. That's uh, okay shape. If it's yellow, everything is fine. That's that's not what we need to repair otherwise. I guess I just have to get used to the fact that this dark spot, dark stuff here is good enough. It's uh, not that big of a deal. And it still signifies 50% or so or over 50%. Okay, so the spark plugs may have been the issue. So it was mainly electrical here. Battery, spark plugs, the ignition coil, and uh, yeah. So, all right, that's another tip. So if the car doesn't start, typically, or it might be purely electrical all the way. So all the way from the wire harness to ignition coil, batteries, and in this case also spark plugs. So let's get those in there. Brand new spark plugs, I think that's what the issue was. Yeah, the other ones were in red, 15, 12, 10%. Okay, so should just stop there. Should have just stopped there. Okay, I think we are good. What's next? Okay. Let's secure the camshaft here. Let's secure that. And 
one more and just to reverse engineer this whole thing here or just reverse the process yep and then of course all the screws there's a lot of screws that go down in this one body let's get that on timing belt belt tensioner the rest here is easy now I think we can get this car going here and started there was a lot of problems on the electrical side here that's not a problem anymore I think we've figured it out I think we figured it out. So it was all electrical. Okay, I think we're good here. Ignition coil, forgot to put that back in. Oh, and fuel rod, of course. Good thing we checked. Fuel rail, not rod. Okay, and the ignition wires, of course. And I think we're good. So let's take a little quick look here. Yeah, it's all green. And then we need to change the oil. So that's what it was. But before we do that, we have to raise the car back up, get that all, get all the pistons secured. So the guts are right open here. To uh, assembly mode again. Okay, just a bunch of screws. And we'll see what happens with the customer in our brand new pistons and piston rings. That's not what the customer is asking for, but we'll see. Let me see. Probably comes, probably gonna come out of our own pocket. All right, crankshaft bearing cap, one more. And oh, that was one more there. Okay, that was it. And then oil pan back. And again, doesn't allow us to put the oil pan on until everything else is sorted out. So that's always good. Now let's put the oil back in. This better work now. Okay, so let's reduce again. This should be the last thing we do, not halfway. All right, don't want to spill too much. There we go, spilled a little bit. Okay, we're good now. Now let's see if we can start this car and get it into a test track. Yes, that's what it was. It was all electrical. Okay, so let's do the test track now. Or do we even have to do that? Nope, that was it. There's no need to do the test track. All right, we're gonna finish this order. So again, for in this episode, Still learning new things. Car didn't start and made a lot of noise, so really came down to two separate problems. The muffler system, all the way from the, en the engine to, uh, to the rear was, uh, was, I just realized one thing. Let's get this car back to the left. I've removed the drive shaft and it looks like it's not even asking for me to put it back on which is kind of strange but anyway so it was uh, the muffler and the electrical that was really it there's nothing else so we don't need to test it for anything else but interesting enough this is what's missing <laughs> the game did not recognize the fact that <laughs> that uh, I had removed the drive shaft and it still let it drive. That's funny. Okay. 
There's a little bit of a glitch. I don't think that would have worked in real life. I just realized though that I had done something there with the transmission halfway in. Okay. So if the car doesn't start, check all the electrical and of course for loud noises, mufflers. Okay, let's finish this order. So we spent 719, we got $359 task bonus, job bonus of almost $200, and our total payout was uh, 1270. All right, so I think we did spend a little bit of our own pockets with those pistons, but that's all good. All right, we're gonna finish this order, and that is that. Now let's take a quick look. No available skill points yet, so we can't upgrade. All right, this concludes this episode. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, you've been watching uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. This is uh, Indie Game Reviews. Have a good one. Until next time, bye-bye.